Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Here are the stages of learning. The first one is the knowing stage of learning, acquisition and reversion. The initial objective of teaching is for the student to acquire knowledge and skills accurately and meaningfully. Acquisition of knowledge and skills takes place when the instructional goals and objectives, skills and competencies, strategies and materials match the learning ability of the student. The teacher's ability to motivate the learner, his or her delivery of accurate content through explicit and effective teaching methods, questioning techniques and evaluation strategies all contribute to the acquisition of knowledge and skills in the learning areas. When the conditions for effective teaching and learning are present, the student can learn content and acquire skills from zero to basic mastery of content and skills with about 85% accuracy. The use of relevant instructional systems and practical experiences further increases the chances of achieving the expected percentage of accuracy in executing the task learned. In reversion, the content and skills learned earlier are further strengthened to increase accuracy and mastery. Correct practice, drill, review, and similar strategies are used with immediate feedback and reinforcement. Through continuous, efficient, and effective instruction, relevant practice, coaching, and feedback, the student is gradually helped to perform the skills with at least 85% accuracy during the knowing stage of learning. Proficiency and automaticity are determined by the strength of prior learning. When mastery of a skill or concept is attained, the learner moves on to the substages of proficiency and automaticity. The student moves beyond the conscious recall of content knowledge, thus mastered or the performance of the skills. The goal is to attain fluency so that the skills are automatically applied to appropriate situations in everyday life. The learner executes the task immediately and successfully without the need to recall the procedures. The second one is the using stage of learning, maintenance. When a student continues to use the skills thus acquired with proficiency and automaticity over time, without explicit instruction, coaching, prompt, help, or enforcement, then maintenance is achieved. Class activities are organized to allow the students to continue to experience meaningful practice of the skills in practical context. Application of the skills at home and in other environments outside the school is set up. Appropriate feedback and enforcement are given to strengthen the maintenance of the skills. The learning of new skills is built on the skills that are maintained. If the learned skills are not used, they will weaken even if they were learned earlier with proficiency. Generalization. Once a skill is learned proficiently, it should be available for use in any appropriate situation. The goals of generalization are for the learner to recognize a new or different stimulus as a prompt to apply the learned skills and to use the acquired skills in various situations, behaviors, settings, and time. The ability to apply generalization is the major indicator of learning. The third one is the inventing stage of learning, adaptation. In the last stage of learning, the student recognizes the need to apply learned skills in situations outside the school. He or she introduces changes or modifications in the skills and applies them to meet the new situation without help or prompts. Although the basic skills have been learned earlier, the student is able to think how they can be used to achieve a current objective in a new situation with or without assistance or coaching and prompts.